So Kim Sozjak and Kim are once again are back in the trend, and this time, guess who is, uh, you know, bringing out some interesting facts against the other. Well, it looks like Kim is accusing Croy of stealing her jewelries after the couple did see or come out saying that they are broke financially and needed support to help them grow or boost back their family. Well, this is not going to be news to many of you because it looks like day in, day out, drama keeps coming in from the BM Gams family. And of course, Kim and Croy always do serve us. This is the Literature of Being Axe News. We're here to digest into this particular matter, who is telling the truth, who is not, and what you also have to say about it. So we're joined to this episode, but before, make sure you do subscribe to our platform. It's very necessary, important also, so you get yourselves abreast with the latest from the world of art and entertainment. Okay, join today's episode. Let's get interactive. Now, Croy has been accused once again by uh, his estranged partner, that is Kim Zosiak, for stealing some valuables that she apparently has, especially, she says, her jewelries. Now, according to what Kim Zosiak has been saying, in fact, in the body camera, uh, which apparently was um, can't see TMZ, we also have cited that particular visual. We're going to let you see that visual very shortly. Uh, Kim is sorry, accusing, uh, you know, Croy BML of getting a uh, hand of uh, her valuables, like her property, including her jewelries, her handbags, and all of that. But the question people are asking is, wasn't it Kim Zosia the same person that auctioned uh, her valuables, including Christ's valuables on social media when she said they are broke and they needed some kind of financial support? And so uh, Christ's shoes, I remember very well uh, that Kim Zosia apparently went live on Instagram. Uh, she said she was selling Christ's shoes. She was selling some um, valuables about the, I mean, in the, in the house, including her own valuable shoes. She said she was selling it. And now she's saying that, uh, you know, um, Croy apparently has stolen, uh, you know, um, his uh, her, her jewels. But according to what Croy is also saying, uh, he apparently has not touched anything, I know, of Kim Zosek. And so there's drama in this too. But let's check out this interesting conversation that we, uh, uh, video uh, that was cited. And let's listen to what uh, Kim Zosek has been responding to about this. Take a listen at this. Hey Olivia, he just canceled on uh, letting us into the room. Um, so how are you I, feeling? I told him okay. I told him huh? that he needs to pay your bill for like today. Today. No, 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 just no. Okay, okay. Um, today and tomorrow, okay. So just stand by on that, but I but um they just canceled. I have supposed to get all my belongings out of my master today and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I have four girls coming. I flew her in from LA, uh -huh. and my husband just said, not letting me into the matter. So, stolen jewelry yeah. and purses. So, are y'all yeah. no. separate? No, we live in the same house, but divorced. Going through divorce, yes. Is it finalized? No. Then it's still going to be marital property at this point. Well, all the jewelry was mine before I ever met him. All the jewelry that he sold. But when y'all got married, it, it became joint. So your That's yours becomes his, and his becomes yours. No, like my right? engagement ring, I can sell because it was. Premarital, anything that's premarital. Is that what your attorney said? Yeah, that's why he said I have to come here. Okay. So, what was taken? Oh. It might be on my other phone as well. Every, my daughter's jewelry as well. Um, um, and yeah. when did this occur? So, I knew that the purses were stolen in May. Mm -hmm. You guys came to the house. These are my in some, May. Okay. Okay. Some of the so at the time, I didn't occur to me that mm -hmm. he had taken all these purses. He took he stole <laughs> my most expensive handbags, but that's wrong. Okay. And some of which were gifts. Mm -hmm. from my and from friends and things like that. So again, okay. anything that was mine acquired, like anything that was um, premarital, mm -hmm. it's a you can't sell it. Mm -hmm. So. I realized that in May. Mm -hmm. I've asked for them back. He won't give them back. Okay. And my jewelry. So when, when did you ask came, for them back? Oh, right away. Like the cops in had May? to come. Yeah. Okay. The cops came. James came. And as I'm taking my bags out of my closet, he's ripping. I mean, he's crazy. Um, yeah. Okay. The cops came. James came. And. As I'm taking my bags out of my closet, he's ripping. I mean, he's crazy huge. He's ripping yeah. them from me uh -huh. and and taking them and running down the stairs and throwing them down the stairs mm -hmm. in the master to like lock them in another closet. Mm -hmm. 
Well, they would, he wouldn't open the safe for me, but he opened it for James. Okay. Well, all my jewelry. I mean, I'm 30, 45 years old. Mm-hmm. Like, from, I'm talking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. Um, yeah. And... I'm talking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I could not get in the safe until last month. Okay. Um, he had it locked. Instead of having like the code that we had, mm-hmm. he had like he made it to a key. Mm-hmm. It was a huge, it was as big as that door. Yeah. Um, and so I was able to, I just tried the key thing one day and okay. it worked and everything is gone. So what brings you in today? Because my attorney um, said that I need to file a police report because the stuff is stolen. The jeweler sent me picture. Some lady sent me a picture on Instagram and said, "I love your bracelets. I'm so thankful." I'm like, "What?" And then I called my jeweler, and he Corey got twenty five thousand dollars in cash for some of my pieces, but the big the watches and all the diamond bracelets and the diamond necklaces and whatever. Um, I don't know where he stole that. So, when that divorce is finalized, okay? If there's are you any, listening, if, Julie? If there's any debate of property while y'all are still technically married, then it's going to fall into the court system. We don't we don't debate and separate property because that's that's not our jurisdiction to do so. The court will have to you'll have to dictate which which property is which and why it belongs to you. Until that divorce is finalized, there's no technical crime that's now. Um, so when that divorce gets finalized, then it'll become theft from there on out, if that makes sense. But still documentation, still you can bring it to where we need to bring it as official documentation. I'm still going to put what you stated that he took in in the note. Stated that he took in in the note. Uh, but and this goes, is all that I can recall as well. So like I'm sure there's other things in every day. I'm like, oh fuck, my Louis Vuitton. Any, you know yeah, anything so, that you can recall, yes, you can put in there. Or can we put in here too? This is, um, I mean, it was a lot. It's not uh-huh. just like, and I mean, I've had this jewelry for 20 years. Some of these mm-hmm. pieces. So, what, can we put in the report? I can put as much as you as you give me. I guess my question is, if he doesn't want to open the door, though, <laughs> what, what is the? My question is. If he doesn't want to open the door, though, what, what is the... Open the door for... So he, he has deadbolts now he's put, so I can't uh, get any of my belongings. Like, okay. into the bedroom, the master bedroom. Uh-huh. Like, they were negotiating with this guy for 45 fucking minutes, mm-hmm. like a psychopath. Mm-hmm. And he never ended up opening the door. He did slide my medicine eventually under okay. the door. But I guess legally... And he never ended up opening the door. He did slide my medicine eventually under okay. the door. But I guess legally, he doesn't have to open the master door, even though I live in that house. I don't know what the court order says. So is the does the court order dictate like when you're in there, like how to get stuff? That that's the question. Is what what is what is the open the master door even though I live in that house? I don't know what the court order says. So is the does the court order dictate like when you're in there, like how to get stuff? That that's the question. Is what what is what does the court order say? I have to have it in hand. The court order stated back in September that I got the nanny's room, the nanny suite, and he got the master because he's taller. Right? But I still have to see that in person. So okay. to get all that stuff, have it in person, then you can call us and we can stay by for 15 or 20 minutes sure. while you get those essentials so out of the house. I know. But it's, it's bullshit. Uh, but if I should do off-duty though and pay somebody off-duty, I'd rather do that. Uh, you can...